See, we have grown, as you saw uh, in the second or third uh, slide, the growth has been there across lines of businesses. It's not that we have focused on one particular line. While I said motor is a strong area where we have grown, you will find that the growth in the fire line of business is even stronger. And the growth in health is there, growth in other lines is also there. What has enabled this is, I also talked about the new channels that we have added uh, during the year over the last, in fact, say two years or so. This includes new bank assurance tie-ups, entry into OEM programs, and then addition of other uh, business partners as corporate agents. All these have contributed to the growth. And of course, our own captive channel, as you would have seen in the slide, that is also grown. So it's a wholesome growth and which is what gives us the confidence to sustain it. If I understand the graph right, the, the channel, bank assurance channel, the share has been coming down, whereas the captive channel is going Captive is uh, fairly uh, continuous and uh, stable. You will find that uh, together it's about 2,000 uh, odd crores, which is about one third of the business, which is what I said. That is the beauty of the channel. Because it is captive, you don't see wobbling. But in bank assurance, it was uh, flat during the two years and last year you would have seen the growth, which was the middle part of the uh, graph. The third one was the other channels. Hello, sir. Your uh, GWP was uh, 4,854 uh, crore previous year. And it has grown by 27%, which is a uh, 6 uh, 6,200 crores. Yeah. What was your pat in FY23 over FY22 and what is your market share? Market share is about 2.87% uh, market share amongst all multi-line players. Multi-line players means who do all lines of businesses. Here we are not including a single line player. You are in health or crop like agriculture insurance. So it's 2.87% and that market share has also grown because we grew faster than the industry. Pat, see we have given there, uh, even in the press release, uh, our PBT is 264 crores per the year. Yeah, Pat is a normal tax rate, which is 25%, about 200 crores. Uh, I mean, 70% of your business comes from uh, motor, motor insurance. So, and uh, the rest is health, fire and other segments. Would you like to, are you looking at uh, growing in the same, I mean, I mean in the same proportion or you are looking at, you know, improving your uh, market share in other segments? We will be, for instance, uh, now this year in 23-24, we are looking at uh, re-entering the crop insurance space. We are, uh, we have secured reinsurance arrangements for that as well. Uh, we will have numbers coming in from crop insurance also in the current year, which will help in reducing and get, getting a more balanced uh, mix of business across lines. About uh, three years back, we took a pass from the uh, crop insurance business. Some of the operating provisions have also changed over the last three years, which has made us uh, have a relook into entry into that space. We have to compete in tenders, so uh, yeah, it's a tender business, so we need to compete. Sir, generally, how long does it take to Yeah, so for in which varies for different uh, uh, lines of business. For instance, uh, in health, if you have to give a cashless uh, approval, we take about 40 minutes to give a cashless approval. So, and that's all the customer needs because we settle the claim thereafter to the hospital directly. If it is a reimbursement claim, it takes anywhere between six to seven days, normally for a reimbursement claim. Likewise, the end-to-end -end tat for a car claim is probably including the time for repair is about 10 to 12 days, including the time for repair. 
I'm saying including because our approval time, I said because we use the AI uh, thing, it only takes 20-25 minutes to give the approval. But the car repair needs that time. So we are able to do, we, which is where uh, we are rated consistently higher with most major OEM programs that we participate in. Some of the programs we have been a part of it for last 15 years or so. We continue to have, uh, for instance, a very healthy market share in the Toyota program, which does a continuous rating. Most companies, I could say, not even a single company, multi-line insurer makes profit at an underwriting level. Even globally it is so, sir. <laughs> Insurance companies make their money out of the investment corpus, uh, which is where the regulator is focused on bringing the underwriting discipline so that companies at least spend only as much. If 100 rupees is the money collected from customers, they don't end up paying anything more by way of claims and running their own business and what they pay to the intermediaries. So it is a competitive market. So you have. For a simple guy like me, how do I understand this? If I give 100 rupees, you can get 200 rupees. No, no, it is not that way. Some businesses inherently are uh, because still price is determined by government may not be profitable for instance motor third party the price is determined by government and the price has not undergone a revision in the last three years while minimum wages have gone up all of us have seen medical inflation is real we have seen about 11 to 12 so the money that you pay as compensation to an accident victim keeps going up year after year at a minimum compounded inflation of about 8, 8.5%. But when price doesn't go up, naturally the claims ratio keeps going up. The numerator goes up, denominator keeps uh, is the same, so naturally the percentage goes up. I'm just to give one instance of how uh, uh, it's not, therefore not that insurance itself is a business of subsidy. You pay a premium and since uh, all of us hope that you don't make a which is why the investment corpus comes sir. <laughs> which is why the investment corpus comes sir you are saying medical inflation about yeah the general perception is that because of the insurance uh, the medical uh, bills have also gone up you know if the insurance was not there the medical bills will not be there and once you are uh, insured the uh, hospitals also charge more you know, that everything they charge you know where is this? I mean, where, how do you think this? So, which is where even the government, the regulator, all of them are seized of this problem in bringing a healthy hospital care practices. There, it has got to do with the practices of uh, hospitals. Uh, invariably, you will find that even your kith and kin, when they are to go to hospital, the first question that will be asked is, uh, are you having insurance? The tariff rates are very different if uh, and uh, that impacts the insurer companies and this again impacts policy holders you will find that health insurance premia of most insurers in the last 18 to 24 months has gone up some of them have increased the premium by about 35 37 40 percent even in fact even we had to come with an increase of about 17 18 percent in October uh, 22. It is inevitable because ultimately, yes, we have to pay our claims. The hospitals don't have any regulator as such, madam. So while, uh, see, it is an, there is no governing body for hospitals. So this is a thing which the industry is uh, trying to work together but uh, in the absence of a centric uh, regulating entity so it is what each one of us can possibly do in our one-to-one -one negotiations with the hospitals.
like you said you've invested on technology how much of your new uh, policies are coming through an app or through your website as well we have about 2% of our top line coming in as digital business digital business <laughs> the promoters haven't taken dividend so while uh, for instance to give you i said that we have a net worth of about 2160 crores the promoters invested 400 crores the balance 1760 crores have all been profits which have been plowed back in the business the promoters haven't taken a dividend even the murugappa group hasn't taken No, I think there it is got to do. When our solvency level perhaps reaches uh, even higher comfortable level, uh, say to give a number, say of about 2.5, then perhaps we, the board will have the uh, comfort to start declaring dividends. We want capital ready to fuel the growth. So after 27% growth, we have had a solvency of 2.01. so we would want to probably continue in that stream then the capital base has to be healthy when that grows to a certain level i guess we will start looking at the board will start considering so what about the grass growth the extra premium are they paying the accretion is about 1300 crores 4000 800 to 1300 crores start from the new price i would say that it's a combination of uh, uh, both because even our existing channels have grown uh, but by and large i would say that if you have to say new customers yes it would be by and large new customers in property yes companies would have enhanced their asset base to that extent the premium would have, would be from an existing client but i would tend to think that at least 85% would be from new customers new channels presently the re- regulator has not prescribed any guideline as such there is no uh, mandatory listing but the regulator has been talking to uh, promoters of companies to keep looking at that path RBI has done it with respect to banks so it is quite likely that over the next 3 to 5 years there could be a requirement from the regulator nudging all promoters to look at IPO as an option yeah we yeah, our uh, track record uh, the way this AI itself was built is based on uh running that model on our past pace of claims of 100000 we ran it today we can say that it has reached a level of accuracy of about 92 93% it gives the same result as a human would do with respect to assessing the claim so it has reached that level of uh, efficiency but still when it comes to complicated high intensity accidental claims yes there will need to uh, a manual intervention will be required but 93% accuracy we thought is a fairly good one and uh, where we are able to put through now about 7000 7500 claims on a monthly basis we in electric two wheelers is something that we write we presently have a market share of about 4% in electric two wheelers uh we have not ventured uh, much into electric cars uh two wheelers we write and we also uh, write the three wheelers the crop it depends on the states so the government program has a certain set of crops uh, certainly paddy will be there wheat will be there maize will be there so most of the normal crops will be there cash crops will not be there
see more here again motor third party is prescribed which is uh, tad lower than what is charged for the conventional uh, two wheelers here uh, when it comes to uh, the own damage part the large uh, part basis of assessment is uh, premium the underwriting parameters risk parameters is the same but particular emphasis on the battery Twenty four. I said, see, last year we had a growth of somewhere more than one point six x of industry growth. We would still want to be somewhere at least one point three to one point three five x of industry growth. Which means that if industry were to grow at fifteen percent, we would want to grow at least at twenty percent. <laughs> so. so I guess from six thousand one fifty, it can only be moving into the next thousands. <laughs> no, at a solvency, we are comfortable. As I said, uh, at two point not one, uh, we can comfortably grow a similar twenty five percent growth, and if it can generate a higher profitability. Then what we have reported for the current year, it is good enough to sustain. <laughs> See, generally, financial services itself is uh, fragmented. Uh, we are now having about uh, 24 players. Uh, the IRDA chairman even yesterday has talked of 20 more players uh, entering the industry. so when like so that is the competitive uh, intensity uh, that is there in the industry 5% yes is what we are working for so uh, don't uh, force me to <laughs> make a mention of which year we will reach it but that's the direction that we want to go now uh, two states have gone through tenders right now i think uh, karnataka and chatisgarh have gone through see that is a uh, uh, we would want to do it even uh, over the next couple of years very clearly so this year was a strong one we saw 33% growth our market share in fire line of business is also incidentally at about 2.85% or so we would want to take that to at least about 4 4.5% uh, quickly our holding company is tolmandalam financial holdings which is a listed entity which also incidentally holds uh, chola finance uh, i don't think we have any more questions yes thank you so much for attending and we have our it offered and we can continue our conversation with our md as in long time